The Red War Story, How It All Began The surprise attack on the last city by Domino Skull and the Red Legion, his motivation for the attack and why it's such an important piece of the light and dark saga. Let's begin back during the Taken King expansion of Destiny 1. When the Dreadnought first appeared in our solar system, stationed on the rings of Saturn, a Cabal Legion called Skyburners was sent over by Domino Skull. Their mission? To kill the Taken King in revenge for an attack ordered by Oryx on a Cabal base on Phobos. During this invasion, the leader of the Cabal Skyburner's Legion becomes taken by Oryx, so the Cabal's Shield Brothers mobilize to destroy the core of the Dreadnought. But destroying the Dreadnought's core will trigger a massive destruction of a big chunk of our solar system. This is where the Vanguard assigned us to stop the Shield Brothers in a strike with the same name. We succeeded at stopping the two brothers in the strike but the remainder of the Skyburner's Legion managed to send a detailed distress signal back to Domino's Gaul, giving him enough information about Oryx's death, the Dreadnought, the Guardians, and our light powers. This is when Gaul begins to develop the technology to isolate the Traveler with a light containment device, and even a way to extract it. Domino's Gaul had lived a very hard life, being abandoned as a child, rescued, raised, and trained by a stranger with the intention to someday take over the Cabal Empire from Kallus. He believed the Traveler had made a big mistake choosing Earth's humans, Exos, and Awoken as light bearers and guardians of the Traveler. He strongly believed the Cabal were a much more worthy race and would make much better warriors if they had the light. Two years passed since the Shield Brothers and the Taken King's defeat. Dominus Gaul and the Red Legion succeed at taking the last city by surprise, setting up the beginning of the Red War. Many lives were lost that day, our tower and our vault destroyed. But Gaul's intention wasn't just destruction, he needed as much information on the Traveler as possible, so he successfully takes the Speaker as a prisoner and begins interrogation. The Vanguard, in a desperate move, sent us immediately to Gaul's command ship as Ikora searches for the Speaker. Our attempt fails and we're introduced to Gaul himself as he activates the light containment device attached to the Traveler and we see our light fade away. Gaul celebrates his victory roasting us and kicking us off the command ship in one of the most epic moments in Destiny history. Lightless, ghostless, and defeated, we crawl through the streets of the Lost City after taking a big fall from the command ship. Seeing Cabal marching on the streets, we manage to find our ghost. Still alive, but no longer able to revive us, he intersects a rendezvous signal coming from a few miles outside the city walls. And after an epic hike through the mountains listening to Journey, we managed to follow a falcon to meet Hawthorne and make it to the farm. The farm would be our home for Vanguard operations for a while. Here we meet Tyra Karn, another cryptarch like Rahul. Tyra Karn was our cryptarch back during Rise of Iron inside the Iron Temple. But now she's here and she informs us of visions she's had of a shard of a traveler that apparently has been right below the traveler since the collapse. It is a dangerous place since it attracts the fallen, but it's worth investigating. We reach the Shard of the Traveler and manage to regain our light powers. Gaul becomes aware of our light powers returning and continues interrogating the speaker. The more the speaker says, the more Gaul becomes unsure about taking the light by force. He now believes being chosen by the Traveler is the way to go, and he's determined to achieve it. Taking it by force would be a failure, and Gaul never fails. These interrogations lead to the speaker's death, but not before telling Gaul to kill himself. Moments later, we receive a signal from Titan. It's Commander Savala asking survivors to go to Titan to regroup and plan a counterattack. We find Zavala with Deputy Commander Sloan, and we're introduced to yet another threat, the Almighty. Gaul's precious weapon, Destroyer of Stars. The Almighty is currently aiming at our sun, and if things go south for Gaul, he would not hesitate to destroy the sun creating a supernova, wiping our solar system. So we must act fast, and find the rest of the vanguard. Kate 6 learned about a Vex teleporter on Nessus that he could use to get up close and personal with Gaul, put a bullet in his head, and then eat a sandwich, his words. So this is where we found Kate 6 and with the help of failsafe that malfunctioned in AI, we manage to free Cade from a Vex teleportation loop he's been trapped in for days. After freeing Cade, he informs us that Ikora most likely went to Io to look for answers. There she was, standing by the last place the Traveler touched, defeated, 
wondering what are Gaul's intentions and what are the Cabal looking for on Io. We found out the Cabal were drilling for traces of light under the planet's surface, and after this discovery, we all head back to the farm to come up with a counterattack to retake the last city. With the full vanguard at the farm and the help of Hathorn, we agree on a dangerous plan that would see us first reaching the Almighty to disable its weapon and then sneaking back into the last city to confront Gaul. In order for us to make it to the Almighty undetected, we're going to need a Cabal ship. And in order to steal a Cabal ship, we're going to need to find the keys, or Cabal codes. So we head to the EDZ at a Cabal base to face one of Gaul's chosen, Thumos the Unbroken. We defeat Thumos and steal the Cabal ship. We make it to the Almighty, we get a nice tan, and find its main weapons vents. Blow up the vents and make an escape having successfully disabled the Almighty weapons. We're back in the last city. Zavala and friends are struggling to fight their way into the last city without the light. And when we reach them, they are in pretty bad shape. So it's up to us to take the Vex teleporter and get close to Gaul. Gaul is informed of the Almighty's condition and becomes desperate, so he begins the extraction of the light, forgetting about the initial idea of wanting to be chosen by the Traveler. We face a Gaul powered by the Traveler's light, and upon his defeat, the Traveler breaks through the light containment device and heals itself, melting Gaul with its light. A bright wave of light so powerful that it spreads throughout our system and beyond as the Traveler heals. So strong that it reaches the Black Fleet the pyramid ships on some corner of the universe. This was the moment at the very end of the Red War story campaign that the Witness and the Black Fleet became aware of the Traveler being on Earth and began the hunt. The hunt that brought us here, so close to the end of the Light and Dark Saga of Destiny 2. I hope you enjoyed this content. I did my best at summarizing the events of the Red War and why it is important to our current story in Destiny 2. If you enjoyed this video, like and heavy attack on that subscribe button really helps the channel with the algorithm. Let me know in the comments if there's anything super important I might have missed. I'm going to try to keep these videos under 10 minutes, so I can't really go into much detail. I'm not trying to put you to sleep here. So I want to thank you all for your viewership. My name is Tavius Place, and if you want to watch other Destiny 2 videos, you can click here.